Hey, welcome to Gypsy Jazz Boot Camp. Today we're doing All of Me. This is my etude number one. Continuing on with the triad embellishments, I hope you checked out that first video called Triad Embellishments number one. Specifically, it was on the major chord, but now we're going to take it through all the chords of All of Me, but specifically one little lick here, and that's the lower neighbor tone, I call it, this one. Um, so I'm on a C major chord, and I'm just doing this chord tone, which happens to be the root, then the lower neighbor, back to the root, fifth, third, and the root again. And the thing is, this could be applied to any inversion. So, you know, this is all coming together, I'm hoping for you, as you are learning these embellishments and also working on your triad inversion. So here's C major, here's C major. Notice how I'm staying just on the top four strings. Here's C major. And we actually want to be able to apply these this exercise to any of those inversions to where, again, you're just kind of free all over the fretboard. Meaning this, here's C major. C major. C major. And I'm hoping you either have the chart for all of me in front of you in the key of C, or have my PDF that's available, of course, for purchase and or from my Patreon website. Um, so it has all the chords. The next chord is E7. And with this triad concept, all I'm concerned about is the E major triad for now. Um, so basically no substituting, just E major triad. So I'm using this shape for E major. And you know, that's the inversion. Here's C major with a root on top. Here's E major. That's for the E7 chord, the fifths on top. Then I'm going to A major for the A7. Looks just like what we did on C shape. A root on top, D minor, fifth on top. As I continue, here's E major. I'm just kind of summarizing this little, uh, when I'm visualizing these triads, even though you heard single notes there at the beginning of the video. Uh, that's the third on top for the E major. And that's, uh, of course, for the E7. A minor, A minor triad. Okay, so again, this is just a nice, uh, etude if you if you need something very concrete to work with it's good for your right hand anyways these nice little simple licks um, and then uh, a minor was this I'm just kind of walking you through the shapes D major fifth on top by the way we did D minor you know earlier there measure uh, what is that measure seven but this is D minor or D major and then for the two five generally people play D minor to G7 um, all I did was just play off the G major. Sometimes I'll pick and choose either the dominant chord, when it's a 2-5, I'll just stay on G major. Or sometimes I'll play the minor. Gypsy jazzers tend to play more off the minor. Um, you can kind of see why. I mean, look at D, D minor 6. Here's G9. I mean, they share, you know, common tones. So that's pretty much why I won't get too technical. But you could either instead of having to necessarily change chords quickly, you can just kind of choose either or. And I chose G major. So the shape that I chose for G major was the shape. So actually this is quite a good study right here, extracting from my etude, just the shapes alone. This gives you some targeting. C, E, A, D minor. And then for E, I use this inversion. And then for A minor, okay, this helps to visualize where where these phrases are going to be extracted from uh, D. And then I went to G for two bars. And then now we're back to the measure 17 off. E, same stuff here. I'm not, I didn't do anything too fancy except repeat. Uh, for the uh, um, ending part here, for the F major, I went to up to here with the fifth on top. Then we make it minor. And then I went to E minor. Um, in this case, I actually did do the A. Did do the, the two five. Sometimes I'll just stay on the E minor, which I'll demonstrate in another video. D minor and G. So again, these are just triads and to C.
and you'll hear this little lick, one. Uh, that's that minor swing ending lick being used as just a nice little turnaround phrase to pull you into the next chord. If you haven't already watched my Sweet Georgia Brown video, it's used a lot in that. Uh, so I tend to throw that lick in just to get my students and myself, I love the sound of that. It really gives it some forward momentum because you're starting the lick on the measure, in leading you, the listener, into the chord. Um, okay, so now here's that embellishment again. It's a lower neighbor tone. That's the motif. You just take it through the shapes. Okay, and that was a C major. So it's one and two, three and four, one and two and. In that case, I'm anticipating that last note. Uh, you could put it right on the beat if you wanted to, uh, but I like it kind of anticipated. E. triad inversions definitely that's that's key you know um, my etudes kind of just take advantage of all the different shapes and as we go through different songs of course you'll be getting a lot of practice so uh, this is probably the best way to do it. it's just application to songs all of me is a good one it's not easy like minor swing because there's a lot of a lot of different chords thrown in so even though the concept is easy you know the da 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 you know the concept is easy for the lick uh, you still have to navigate through each chord. That's the exercise. So it's very, very important that you know what chord you're on at all times. Um, sorry, this is not the style where you just play you know, blues licks throughout the whole thing. And you actually have to really target every chord. So that's the first step is really just to spend time mapping it out um, as I just demonstrated. Okay, let's finish it out. Here's the F major chord. You took the part. So we have... And then it, it's a quick change. So I made it from major to minor, and I wanted the ear to hear this. I wanted to hear that major minor movement. And then for the E minor, some people play C, by the way, the one chord. I like it from F major, F minor, you took the part that once was my heart, E minor, A7, D minor, G7, and of course C. Uh, so those are just a sequence of two fives there. So here's what I have written. F minor, E minor. And that's for the A chord, see? So it's a nice little two five lick. And yes, I did the same exact movement on D minor. And then C major. that's your could be a great ending lick or you can start all over and, and use that as a uh, this lick one that'll be my next a2 the mona lisa pattern there to fancy it up a little bit more we could take that pattern through all the chords you get the idea of this it's important to stay with just one embellishment uh, that i call it just one embellishment to make sure you can take through the whole song um Okay, I think that's really all I have to say for this video, but you know, again, just map out those triads. All of me is a great study. Maybe just also, I think one other tip is to just spend a lot of time on the first eight bars. And the thing is, with this concept, you might, you might choose a different inversion for practice. Uh, my etudes will not necessarily write out all the inversions, you know, that'd be a lot of etudes um, for one motif. But just to show you what I mean, Major. G major. One. 
So again, there I, I did, um, that was not written out at all, but I just took, just took the same concept from the etude and moved it to the different inversions. And you can just keep going as, you know, as long as you can, see how long you keep that going. So I'm gonna play it just for you one more time. Hopefully you have the PDF in front of you and you can join me here. Uh, I'm gonna start off with that little ending lick, kind of as a pickup note, so it'll go like one. <laughs> Say the chords, D minor, E. These are just triads, A minor. <laughs> 